game, watch the games. Yeah. Even folks who weren't all that into basketball mm-hmm. ended up falling in love. And we won medal. We they forgot, yeah, forgot to record to it. It, yeah. it was it was top. It was top notch. I really best. enjoyed. Not it. the best. Let me get to my message box. I'll, I'll read a few messages and then uh, I'll get into some Black Stars related issues. Um, there's a lot to talk about as far as the friendlies that were played uh, concerned. So uh, we'll get into uh, the Black Stars issues in a bit. Yes, yeah, so message box here. This one says, can coach explain what Sampolu means? It always cracks me up anytime I hear it. I mean, Sampolo, even though you go beyond bats. Mm, That's basically what it is. So when they put you in the Sampolo, they are in trouble. This one here says, please ask my fellow Manchester United supporter coach, what about those foreign volunteers who were paid after the event? Are they they better than our own citizens? Are they not volunteers according to this? If Mukarama is is called that goal to win you good, and you are owing that little girl, Mm -hmm. you should bow down your heads and Mm change. If you are owing her, Mm -hmm. because if you look at, look, extra time, the way they, they, they work tirelessly, and look at where she picked the ball from and the strike into the to win Ghana gold. If you are owing them a dime, mm-hmm. a dime, you should bow down your heads and shake. Mm. Pay them immediately. We don't pay, want to come there pay, and pay do this thing. Yeah. Pay the women. Yeah, pay her. Can you low blast up here and I met a show one year? Can you lose car arm and what man? Pay the women. Pay them immediately. Pay them immediately. Pay them, pay them, pay them. So that's the case with the uh, princesses. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube, I hear you are experiencing some challenges. We have some uh, internet issues still, so um, it's not something that's from our end. We are trying uh, to rectify it as soon as we can, so please do bear with us. Um, we'll get to that as soon as we can. Let's move it on and talk about um, the Black Stars, Coach Nimli's Black Stars. Uh, Coach Nimli's Otoado was in charge as well. Um, two games. So what happens is that Ghana has now gone. We've gone in our last 10 matches played. We've won one. Yeah. One in our last 10 matches played. In 2024, mm. we have not won a match at all <laughs> as far as this year uh, is concerned. So um, Ghana took on, first it was Nigeria, and then we took on Uganda. Uh, very interesting games there. First of all, my biggest qualm was that why did we take our premier product to go and play in an empty ground? Both two games, yes, two games, not a single soul watching yeah. the friendly match. And I mean, look, correct me if I'm wrong, but Ghana does not have a bigger rival anywhere where you take Nigeria. in the world apart from the Super Eagles. That is a game at all, at all national lines from outside. But I mean, you have to look at your international window. Look at the matches you are being offered. Look at your terms and conditions before you select what you think is prudent to do. I I just found that very, very funny. On the footballing side itself, a couple of newbies were introduced into the game. But for my my biggest observation is that Otoado still played old players we have seen consistently very, very heavy minutes. And guys we needed to see more of were not given as Nigeria. We lost that game. Uh, we, we drew that Uganda game as well, also yeah. 2-2. So, um, your good friend Otto has started without a win. They are friendly matches, so um, should we read a lot of meaning into that? Next game is at Bamako against Mali. <laughs> a game I don't think will survive, though. Look, Nketia, you see, this country, eh, <laughs> we will continue to experience the level of setbacks that we are going through if we don't do things differently. Already, people are beginning to tell some of us, he may not be terribly slow. But he's 6'6". Six, six. That's to that's that be expected. No, but for a centre-back, no, I'm a guy, bro. I'm a guy, no, I'm a guy, bro. There are certain basic attributes. Hold on, hold on a second. So, after two matches, two friendly matches leading to a crucial World Cup qualifier against Mali. What would you have, what would you have ideally expected ah, to have seen from, look, from this team? Two friendly games. Mm-hmm. I would have used the first game to experiment. Rested those players I know definitely I will use in Bamako. Mm-hmm. And see how battle ready. Because if you play 
some of the young boys or the newer guys against the Super Eagles of Nigeria, mm -hmm. and they are able to show some level of character, mm -hmm. then you can say, that, okay, oh, okay, these guys, yep. if I want to add them to those are, I'm already comfortable with, to, to, because look, that game in Bamako will be tense, though. Yeah. Will be absolutely tensed. If they can join the established ones to go, then we have a chance of going to win. But what did you see our coach do? What did you see him do? Hmm. He didn't do anything in that respect. No more. Look, if you look at the balance of this team, I've said there's no balance. Oh. Still, look at our midfielders. No more. I mean, I'm a kicky ball. They can't kick ball. Salis only gives 10 to 15 yard passes. How do you the transitional play in modern football how do you split a defense open how, how do, good just quick thoughts on salis for me i feel no, like able, i feel like he's he's retrogressed since Look, he joined the team now me, just, just hold on for yes. a second he was such a breath of fresh air when he was introduced into the team a lot of people praised him for his bravery in receiving balls and not even progressing but not hesitating in playing a forward pass and doing a lot of the basic things. Do you know why? He doesn't seem to do you know why he's with progress. He sees himself as an untouchable in, the, in that position. No, if you had a player like Alfred Duncan there with him, he will sit up. Onumishi, he will sit up immediately. Mm -hmm. If you have Duncan Pate fully committed to the cause of the Black Stars and all that, he will sit up. Mm. Because if you watch him play alongside Babai, why don't Babai do this against Anamobia? Why don't they try? Ah, we, do we still think that Babai Drisu is the midfielder to drive us to the next level? Absolutely not. Do we think that Edmund Clearly, I mean, if you look at the call-up ah, coming, clearly. absolutely not. So you see, we are doing rebuilding. Mm -hmm. So they say. Mm -hmm. We are rebuilding. Yep. So the rebuilding will come at the expense of we're not going to America. We're not going to Canada. We're not going to Mexico, which I said that is rebuilding. When somebody is fired after those failure not qualifying to the World Cup, nobody will pay anybody any compensation. I swear upon the blood of my life, I will take them to court and they will never see what I'm telling you. Hold on, hold on. The blood you of know? your life is a dangerous thing. No, 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 I'm so telling you. I'm telling you honestly. Hey. Because if you give the job to the man who never met any of the criteria, you will not give him any compensation when he's sacked. But Do you think we'll forgive them if we don't qualify to America? Will you forgive them in Ketia? <laughs> Hard pill to swallow. What? But, Yankee. But don't, don't swallow. No, no, Yankee. So you're, you're, hold on. No, what I'm you're, saying your is, life is precious no, to me. No, what I'm saying you is, can't, you can't swallow nobody will <laughs> use the taxpayer's <laughs> money to pay any compensation to Otuado. Hmm, fair. I'm telling you. That, that's fair. That is what I'm saying. I will take them to court. It's fair if you want to contest. I will take them to court. And they will have to tell me and the people of this country how the man who never met one criterion, one, say, mm -hmm. got the job. Five years contract, mm -hmm. and we are to pay him compensation after sacking him. Look, do you know why he? We are not going to succeed. Look at the collapse. What is Jojo Wolakot doing in this team? Yeah, can you pull up the the team the team? For Jojo Wolakot. If, if we can, we, we oh. can have the team. What that... is he doing in the team? So okay, so um, Edmund Ado. Let's let's have the list. So the starting lineup mm -hmm. for the game against um, Uganda. Yeah. You had Ebenezer Annan and mm -hmm. playing as a left fullback, mm -hmm. Jerome Opoku. Mm -hmm. Substandard. Jerome Opoku and Edmondado playing as a centre, centre back. back. Buen Chakumo. <laughs> the right you just was, have a look at this. Right wait, 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 is it Edmondado? Yes. yes. Edmondado and Jerome Opoku. Yes. yes. They played both games as centre back. As a centre back. Can you imagine? As a centre back. No, one very bold in it. There's a what? Look, can you go and put Edmondado and Jerome in Bamako? Did you watch the Malian play mm -hmm. in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. We saw two them zero. in Afghan. Look, and in that went, game against Cote, Cote d'Ivoire, yeah, they beat yeah, them. The game they lost in the quarterfinals to Cote d'Ivoire. Mm -hmm. Last second, they were very wasteful. Yeah. In the first seven they, minutes, they, they, they should have, they should have, have killed Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. Yeah. They should have won that game. They're just very a, 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 a really wasteful team. But mention the team. A really okay, good team. Yeah. So Jojo Wallaco started against Uganda. So I've already mentioned the back line. Then Salis Abdul Samed, and Esnyama and. Uh, Francis Abu were the midfielders. Then you had Jordan Ayu, Antoine Semenyo, and Abdul Fatah Isahaku um, starting up top. So 4-3-3. Three, three. 
um, for that game against this line of Uganda. This lineup then will let me put do the no Nigeria fear. one. We'll put no fear in any opponent. Then the Nigeria game, you had Laurent Atizigi mm -hmm. um, starting in goal. You had Ali Dusedu mm -hmm. at rifle right back, Edmonado and Jerome Opoku starting at centre back. Then you had Patrick um, Pozo at left full back. Then you had double pivot, Salih Samed and Idrisu Baba. Non progressors, non progressors of football. Many near progressive ball. Then the three man units just in front, that's at, just in front of them. You had Antoine Semenyo, mm -hmm. Amankwa Force, and Force Namankwa. Yeah. Plays for Red Bull. Left footed. Brilliant yeah. player. Very, yeah. very good one to watch. Right winger. Um, the future. Mm -hmm. Then you had Enes Nyama lining up on the right side, but he got moved to the um, center striking position. Mm -hmm. Then you had Jordan Ayu playing, who started out as the as a striker. The Nigeria game ended 2-1. 2-1 against two one. Yeah, and then 2-2. Two, yeah. two. Hmm. No. Come on. You don't do rebuild. Did you like our left back? Our new left back? No, no, no. no, no. Ebenezer Anand. No, Oshako. Yeah? Oshako Not a good option to no, have no, no, as no. even a backup. No, 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 no. Look. But we don't have left backs in this country. Oh. Is it? Is it? Is it is because... We have limited, or we have decided mm -hmm. to limit the to, pool to not to open that pool a little bit because that pool crowd, that left back crowd, Jeffrey Schlock, he play him is as simple, no more simple. He says he doesn't want to play that position when it comes to No, but to you see, no, you see, I, I, I feel like tell you, it's about letting him see reason. Every, this, it's, it's about letting him understand uh, yep. what the team needs. I mean, needs. Ima ima imagine telling Schlop that. Imagine taking Schlop to the World Cup and he will want to go to a World Cup. And, and telling him that you have a Look. game against Portugal. But because of skill set and tactics and personnel, I won't... It's just about It's just about explaining to him what he needs to do to help the team. That's it. And I think he would have bought And that is what coaching is all about. I think he would have bought And now people... Have already sidelined these players. That centre back partnership for the friendlies look, is comical. Look, <laughs> look, 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 Jerome, yeah. hey, no more. Jerome, Puku. The only way you are Whoever. trying that is if you see it as a future partnership yeah, for us. Do you if, see Edmond Ado as a future centre back? I mean, like, look, let's be real. Jerome, no more care age of where. Because he's 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> so, well, I had call you, so that means eh. Eh, Charlie, Charlie, eh. don't no, do but, that. Do you see him firmly gripped to the ground as a defender? I think he's fair. I think he's okay. He's terribly slow. Yeah, that, but that can be worked on. So in, in such no, a situation... No, no, no. You can't work on the speed of a player. No, no, no. no. Yeah, if no, the no, man no, is slow, he's slow. I'm talking about the tactics, the uh -huh. setup. No, but you see, for a team... If you look at the way Otto wants us to play, mm -hmm. we don't even know whether we are to press the ball high up the pitch or yeah. we are to drop deep yeah. and then go on the counter. Mm -hmm. I think for a team that is very leaky at the back, mm -hmm. there must be a clear instruction on how we press the ball. You understand? Yeah. And you've got very slow defenders at the back there. You cannot play high line. You have to drop, drop very deep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in dropping very deep, you need midfielders who, the moment we win the ball, who should be able to go it. progress and kick the ball forward. Salis, in your trouble like I hear. Bye bye, this in your trouble like I hear. It isn't that we don't want anybody to succeed. Though. But Charlie, look, I saw Michael Essie. We need to be serious with our team. That's what it I is. I saw Sulimutari play. Mm. I saw Kodua Samoa in trouble. Kodua Samoa could stand in the half of the Black Stars and give a 60, 70 yards. And you know, and you the know, moment the baby jet control, you know, pa, you know, you're in the semi you know, you know, You know how you, you measure the standards of your players? You ask yourself that if you say your team is good enough, how many of your players will walk into the top three teams in the, on this continent? That's it. If you say your midfield is great, that's it. Will Will Kudus make it into a Morocco team or a Senegal oh, team? Hands down. Good. Now, how many of your players aside Kudus it, or Party nah, are capable of making it into okay, the starting in unit of another African power? It, that's in, always a good that, way to measure your standard. In Bambako, mm -hmm. Kudus will be around. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't need him to be dropping deep for the ball. We need players who can give him the ball in attack intent for him to go and punish. Talking about him, there's a very interesting issue. So he didn't come for the, no the friendly matches. Yeah. Yeah. Be Two games. More you now, David Moyes has just confirmed that Kudus is available to play tomorrow. Oh, yes. I checked their, their, list, their list of uh, Maybe players available and, for their game. But, but the FA did not explain. Newcastle. Good. You see, this is why I was talking about what I was talking about last week, that you keep replacing players on the team 
on without the initial giving list, without any reason. Because nobody told us why Kudus didn't show up. Yes. He didn't show up because he had protocol issues to deal with. Mm-hmm. Penso explained why he didn't show up. Yes. Kudus didn't say he was injured. Mm-hmm. We don't know if he had any... Like, why, why are we in this sort of situation where no. we don't hear anything and then before we know, his Ingetia, class says he's available to play? I am worried for two or three reasons. Going forward, defensively, yeah, we are not strong. Yeah, defensively, we are not strong. And it is looking like for this team to win a proper football match, we will have to score three or more goals to win football games, mm-hmm. like we just saw in the AFCON. Yeah. Agreed? Mm-hmm. In the AFCON, the games we drew, the games we lost, in every game we considered two goals. Agreed? Yep. We considered yes. two against Kivet, Kivet, against we considered Mo- two against, against, against and then we considered two goals in every game we play. And again, in Otto Ado's return, we considered two against Nigeria. We considered two. two. The, the second goal against Uganda so, was so oh, bad. Is, look, ah, we, we, we had s- s- five defenders mm-hmm. and they allowed the player alone mm-hmm. to head the ball mm-hmm. into uh, for them to be scrambled ah, and then tap into the It was so bad. So that is my worry. And if indeed this Otuado technical team have mm-hmm. seen, mm-hmm. they should know that that is a major concern. Defensively, we are bad. And you are trying Jerome Opoku and I'm shocked. I don't know why we do these things. I'm shocked. (laughs) Two, my next big issue is the fact that we don't seem to score a lot from open play. We don't create it. Apart from more kudus. We don't even create chances. We don't even create chances to score from open play. So how do I address those issues? How did he address those? Well, he he, he pointed it out. He spoke 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 on it. Yes, he he said that. We, we I'll, don't create I'll, enough chances. I'll, I'll come to you. We said that we don't create yeah. enough chances. Um, we struggled with discipline because yes. our first game red, against we, we picked up three Nigeria, there was a record, Jerome Opoku, yep. because of what he termed as a miscommunication mm-hmm. um, towards the referee. Because he said, apparently, in in his setting, that this is according to um, Otoado, mm-hmm. and it's very typical of the English boys. They say some things that they really don't mean it. You know those languages, Bruh. and we, we all watch professional yes, football. And I mean, there's those those languages, and, those and, words, and there's a crackdown on these things these yes, days. And yes, the referee deemed it as offensive, and that's why he sent Jerome Opoku off. Mm. So that was the dismissal against um, Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Then Uganda game, Ali Dusedu yeah. and Mohamed Salisu got sent off. Mm-hmm. Ali Dusedu in the 93rd minute and Mohamed Salisu in the 89th minute. So discipline is an issue. You see. And he, he talked about it. And he said they addressed it immediately after the game. Hmm. And he also added that before he came, mm-hmm. the team was bad. So it's going to take... A- <laughs> <laughs> I, I, look I, at I, this I, I, I heard that. Yes, he that, said the that team was, was bad that was before he came. That was he said the team was bad before he came. So it will take before time he, to he build came the, the first time or this one? No, before this one. he came, this one. Before he came this time. Uh, the team was huh? bad. Oh, he said it. He said it. He said the team was bad before he came. Let's be honest. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest. 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 Let's be you see, with time we all see that uh uh-uh, uh this is not, this the, is not the, the job. Yeah, let me let me yeah. take your your your, your takeaways from those two friendly matches and mm-hmm. also how you feel heading into those into that big Bamako game because that game I, you, will, will you, test you, just before you come, mm-hmm. can't the mm-hmm. FA people can't they talk to some of our players to rescind their decisions? Like who? Like Schlop. Oh, but, like that, Duncan, that's, but that like, ship has sailed. No, but, but, no I mean, see, if you are doing, if you are, if you are trying to do a rebuild, yeah, these guys are not young players mm-hmm. accepted. Mm-hmm. But they are n- neither are they old players. Yep. They are, they are players in their prime. They are in their prime. Yep. So you need them to guide the young ones that you are bringing. Mm-hmm. When Otto said we don't create, does he know why we don't create chances? We have bad midfielders. Our midfielders are bad. They are substandard midfielders. Midfielders who cannot progress the ball in modern football are substandard. 
I don't I don't want to go too hard. But by Jisu Salis, they cannot pass the ball 50, 60, 70 yards. They can't kick the ball. And we and we have every Ghanaian should go and watch and them we, play. And we have a lot of them in our team. So if yeah, there are a lot of them. Babai, Jisu, Salis, Salis, Elias, Elias Wusu, Edmo, Ado, all of them they can't pass. That is why we don't create chances. We've got blistering wingers. And Semenyo and Inaki Williams have got good pace. They are bagging goals for their clubs every With week. With chicken A's. Mm -hmm. But when they come here, they are stifled because they need to make about 20 of the ball movement before one of the ball will locate them. I've been watching Pencil's highlights from LA Galaxy and the football is made so easy. So easy. You understand? So if you say we are not creating chances, mm -hmm. that is the reason why we are not create, uh, creating chances. Mm -hmm. Because where it matters most, mm -hmm. we are unable to take the ball and progress it forward. So how do you create chance to score? No ke Jordan Kobole, Eba Jiaun, Kekeaki. Kekeaki, no more. No, don't do that to Jordan. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me take your, 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 your take out from that particular uh, match international break. Um, international break, I think um, Ghana could have done better, should have done better. Um, looking at the fact that, yes, we are coming off um, an AFCON, and for the most part, a lot of the players that were used um, in this friendlies um, were, were players that participated or competed in the in the AFCON. You look at the first game, for instance, with the exception of um, Fosna Mankwa and Patrick Pozo and okay, Jerome, Jerome Lenu Majile. The, the, those other guys had experience with the Black Stars. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and Monado was the one who got dropped um, for the for the 2023 AFCON. Right, uh, yeah. That, that's that's pretty much it. he play football? He plays um, for Istanbul Basak. Who is this? Um, Jerome Opoku. Um, he's on loan from um, Aruka yeah, in the Aruka. Portuguese yeah. league. Oh, yeah, and so, for me, yes, that Niger game and the fact that it's a um, rivalry, it's a rival a rivalry game. I think you should have um, the performance should have been a little bit better um, from from the Black Stars uh, in the second half. They they did um, improve their performance a little bit when they went down by man, but it just wasn't enough. Yes, you can say they were a bit unlucky, but at the end of the day. You, you you create your own luck and they didn't do much um for me in, in that game against um Uganda yes the changes were made but i i think uh, especially to the starting line because there were five changes that were made but you don't just throw those guys in into the line of fire uh, without giving them a head start the the game against Nigeria i think that was the game where you should have given them that that chance that and you send that message mm -hmm. that if you are rebuilding you rebuild right from the get go. You don't rebuild kind of midway mm -hmm. and and more or less not know your, your timelines. That for me was a little bit disappointed, mm -hmm. uh, disappointing. Mm -hmm. But all in all, yeah, the same issues popped up. Ghana conceding very poor goals, um, discipline also becoming an issue, mm -hmm. and the fact that we, we we still struggle to create chances. And you look at um, the balance that coach has always been talking about. Yeah, it's still missing because if in the in the game against Nigeria, you have Baba Idrisu and mm -hmm. um, Abdul Sali Samet. Yeah, you have two breakers, two more or less destroyers mm -hmm. um, of possession on the opposing team's part. But be, behind, but ahead of them, you just have one sole creator um, centrally. That's for Sina mm -hmm. And that makes it easy to game plan for him. And we've had this issue um, for, for several um, occasions or several games where if you don't have um, Ashimeru and Mohamed Kudus mm -hmm. playing in, in midfield, then you make it easy for the opposing teams to target one creator um, centrally in the team. And it, it makes their work a little bit easy. And so for me, we need, Ghana needs to um, have a system where they can create that balance where you have a destroyer mm -hmm. and a creator, deep creator, and an auxiliary creator yeah. um, centrally. The way Germany, um, who, uh, Julian Nagelsmann has yeah, finally up. found out. And that's how come Germany is winning games these days. Because he knew that um, Ilke Gunnohan is good. Mm -hmm. He's a creator. And now you have Robert Aldrich, um, the guy who, who plays um, for Bayer Leverkusen. Mm -hmm. Aldrich, yes. the destroyer of the ball. But he needed a, Andrich another... Andrich is an underrated... He needed another... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, you know, another DPS, on the rough. Um, creator, mm -hmm. and that's how come he brought in Tony Cruz. Yep. Yes, yep. and look at look at Germany now. Now the balance is is on point. They are cooking. You know, they are proper passes and progressions and, of yeah. the ball. You know, the best part is they've relegated Leroy Sané to the bench. Now he's not using your typical wingers. He's using um, the likes of um, Jamal Musiela mm -hmm. and uh, Florian uh, Wertz as inside forwards. So they are lined up on the wings, but they don't operate as, as typical wingers. Yep. wingers. Yep. They move because a bit they've centrally. they decent fullbacks and Kimmich had now gone to the right. Right, right fullback. Yeah. And they have the, 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 the Kimmich who Toto Alute said could not play on her yeah. head. So right. that's, that, that's the system where they are using now and it's balanced. And mm. that's what I expected to see um, from 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 oh, Ghana, no I think Otuado. I'll give him credit. He did try. Um, we're making some changes, accommodating as many creators as possible in the forward line. So, for instance, you had Jordan Ayew in there, you had Antoine Semenyo in there, you had Ernest Nyama in there. Then he introduced um, uh, Fosna Mankwa. Then um, he made sure that you you have Ernest Nyama move centrally mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, like I've always said with with Ghana's um, forward line, we have an overload of options down that right side. Yep. But it's on the other side that we, we have an issue. So you need to create a situation where you can accommodate as many um, forwards as possible, mm -hmm. creators as possible, to ensure that that problem kind of evens out. And for that, I'll give him, I'll give him a pass on that, that he, he, he was able to make some changes. Mm -hmm. I don't think um, Ernest Nyama at this stage is the solution to a false nine. Kind yeah. of role. Yeah. I, I think he's not a bona fide goal scorer yeah, yet. I, no, the personal choice was whose strength is a one v one situation. Yeah. You don't restrict him as a number nine. Yes. So the personal choice talents. was a bit uh, was a bit Weird, off. Yeah. I think Inyaki Williams or Antoine Semenyo would have been a better option mm -hmm. in 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 that role, and that for me was a bit mm -hmm. off. But between now and June, there's a lot of time. A lot of things can happen. Yeah. Injuries can happen. Um, from my pickup, um, especially. For our forward line with Jordan Ayew, um, Antoine Semenyo, he's scoring for uh, Bournemouth, but he's not scoring for Ghana. Uh, for Ghana. So maybe the it might flip, and we'll be able to be in a good position to be able to get a draw or possibly a win against Mali Look, in Bamako. I, 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 I but don't. Nothing, a, a draw would be big for Ghana in Bamako. But nothing we stood out exceptionally for me from in, this in, game in this friendly game. In Bamako, yes. one thing that is certain: mm -hmm. we will concede not less than two goals. <laughs> Oh no, I mean the evidence is there. We will concede at least two goals. So we need to find three goals to be we able to, to win the game. And that is not practically possible. impossible. Well, Otoado, let me see if you can turn things around. Um, let's see how it goes with regards to those ones. But let me just remind you that the Back to the Village Food Bazaar is happening this weekend. I'll get into that a lot more as we um, round up the show. Uh, there's a big game this weekend as well. But Back to the Village Food Bazaar, there, it's happening live and color this weekend. Getting into it um, in a bit. Let me get to the big game this weekend. And it says Manchester City hosting Arsenal at the Etihad. Two big players missing for City. Kyle Walker and John Stones will not make this one. Uh, picked up injuries. Um, and so they will not be featuring in this particular game. Yeah, let me start off with you on this one. This is a huge game. Big game. Title implications. Um, Man City have done the Liverpool bit already. Uh, there was no winner in that one. Yeah. They have Arsenal to play. Arsenal have beaten them once already this season. Uh, can they navigate this game? What are the matchups that people should look out for in this one? Um, I, I honestly believe uh, Man City won't lose this game. Um, for some strange reason, they are, they are closest contenders are letting them off the hook. They haven't been the best. Uh, at, they haven't been at their best um, all season. Mm -hmm. But um, you look at some of the games, the crucial games that they they should have um, co um, lost more points beyond a draw. They they still ended up either winning it or uh, walking away with a draw um, against Chelsea in both games. Chelsea had multiple chances to to bury Manchester City and 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 win those games. They ended up drawing both games. Um, you look at that Liverpool game. Liverpool had multiple chances to bury Manchester City. Mm -hmm. They ended up getting a draw. And so imagine the point tally that City has minus those extra points that they managed to pick up. Those extra one point, one point, one point that they managed to pick up. Yeah, City would have been out of the title um, race at this point in time. But because they are closest contenders so, and, and some other teams fail to take advantage of City's somehow shaky form, include Manchester United too. 
in, in that first half against Manchester City, Man United should have at least scored two goals. Mm -hmm. um, so that gives them the chance to be able to um, still be in the title race and compete with a team that's flying high in, in, in Arsenal. But um, despite the fact that, yeah, um, Kai Walker won't play, um, John Stones won't play. Hmm. You have Manuel Akanji um, coming uh, coming back. Might as um, well he'll be, be Man City's best defender. Yeah, he will be available. Great. Um, Kevin De Bruyne will be available. Yeah. So for me, yeah, I, 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 yes, they will be missed because John Stones out of the centre backs for Manchester City is the one who is best at stepping out of the defence and pairing up with um, Rodri in midfield and forming that double pivot system. Always will score a wild card goal for yes, you too. Yes, forming that double pivot mm -hmm. system and ensuring that they play with three men at the back with two um, players lined up in a double pivot system that without um, messing up the structure of the team. Because Manuel Akanji has struggled to play in that role. Um, uh, Ruby uh, Diaz has also struggled to play in that role. So for me... That will be a little bit of an issue, but looking at how Arsenal plays, they mm -hmm. they play they tend to play a little bit more vertical, yeah, um, through the middle and um, through um, Declan Rice, Martin Odegaard, and I don't think um, John Stone's absence will be much of an issue. Um, looking at what they have at right full back, mm -hmm. they can they can line up Rico Lewis at right full back. They can even push um, Ruben Diaz. Um, to that right full back position and have uh, the, the likes of Akanji and Nathan Ake um, line up as centre back and finally maybe play um, Sergio um, Gomez at, at left full back. Sergio so, Gomez won't play anymore, but he'll be on the bench. Or, or, yeah, or <laughs> even, yeah, I, I think they'll mm -hmm. play uh, Rico Lewis down, mm -hmm. down that left flank um, as yeah, a left full back. I, I think they'll play the boy from Croatia. Um, Just go Mario. back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. they, they have multiple options, so I don't think mm -hmm. they will be too uh, underman in, in in that position. Mm -hmm. But the the matchup I'll be looking out for is um, whoever lines up at um, the left full back position for Manchester City um, coming up against Bukayo Saka. I, 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 yeah, he missed the England game, so I'm definitely sure he'll play in, in this game. Bukayo Saka, and on the opposite side, uh, Martinelli. Without Kawoke speed, how are you? Who is the one going to? deal with the speed of um, Gabriel Martinelli and who is the one who's going to deal with the, the movement, the intelligent runs of um, Kai, uh, Kai Havertz. He's, he's, he's in confidence mood now. Mm -hmm. um, his, his skill has always been there, but that lack of confidence from his Chelsea run earlier in the season was affecting him. It was bothering him, but now he's scoring goals and he is very confident. And that will be something to look out for how the Man City defenders um, track his runs, knowing very well that and keeping an eye out for the spaces he gives um, to uh, a guy like Martin Odegaard. Mm. Those cutbacks, yes, those are the things I'll be looking out for, especially when it comes to the matchups. I'll be looking out for who lines up on the right side uh, for Manchester City, how they deal with the pace of Gabriel Martinelli, because Kawoka will, will miss this game. Mm. Coach? Get ya. Uh, it's a very, it is going to be a very difficult game for the two teams because of what is at stake. I don't expect it to be an explosive sort of football game. Hmm. It's the master against his, 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 apprentice. his apprentice. His apprentice did one over him in the first leg. Would the master allow the, the apprentice to come and beat him at home? I don't think so. You may want to say, yes, Kyle Walker, the captain of the team now, without a doubt, is a Im very important player in this Man City setup mm -hmm. because he's a, he allows he's one of those players who allows them to play that high line because recovery-wise, he's the best in the business. Mm. But I'm interested in what Arsenal themselves will do because Arsenal should be aware that they just cannot go to their Etihad and think they are going to boss it. Because if you are lined up against Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, Ellen Haaland, uh, Phil Foden, clearly you will not dominate the round object. These guys will have a say on how mm -hmm. the game will go. So I'm interested in how Arsenal will approach this. Are they going to approach this believing that they are the best in the land, they are the league leaders, and therefore they will go to the Etihad and, 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 and then go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Man City? They cannot afford to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Hmm. There will have to be moments in the game where Arsenal will have to say, okay, you can have the ball. We'll keep our shape and see what you are going to do. 
and there'll be moments in the game where they'll have to come up and say, look, mm. now we're going to boss in the bed for the next 10 to 15 minutes. All the guard, Martinelli, Car Harvest, Declan Rice. Let's see how best we can make the, the, the likes of Rodri, Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne and co work a bit harder before they regain that ball back. Mm -hmm. Who will Ateta play alongside Declan Rice? It cannot be Rice alone in that midfield. Mm. Is Pate fully fit now? Well, he played 64 walk. minutes in their behind closed door friendly game that, against um, To walk Park into Rangers. such a game. Mm -hmm. if, he, if he can give you 60 good minutes, yeah. start him alongside Declan Rice. Mm. And let Declan Rice be the one to lead the press in the half of Man City. Because one thing you don't want to do is to allow Rodri to be picking the ball mm -hmm. and brushing off players like Odegaard because physically he's stronger yeah. and he's even equally very intelligent, if no more intelligent than Odegaard. And then turn and begin to locate Folding, De Bruyne and those people. In solving Man City problems at left back, mm -hmm. clearly people have to start with Doku. Mm. Because Arsenal have to be worried about whoever plays as the left winger of Man City. Mm -hmm. So that that stops Mr. Ben White yeah. from joining yep. Saka mm -hmm. and doubling up on the mm -hmm. very uncomfortable left back of yeah. Man City. Mm -hmm. Because Ben White is aware that if he goes and it doesn't work out, he's not catching yeah. Doku anytime mm -hmm. soon. Most likely it ends up in the back of the net. So there's a lot of dynamics yeah. going on. Into the into this game and you want to be very very careful but mm. my biggest worry mm -hmm. and i think it will come down to that in that first leg arsenal won that game by a wicked deflection yep. but if you don't try you don't get set yep. and go your way yep. they will need a proper number nine to win this game they don't have one hmm. but manchester city's number nine two is off color no ellen Haaland can be off color he can show up on any day he can show up on any day and Elihanan's off color, normally it's someone's best form. Honestly, <laughs> there you go. It's someone's best form. True. It's someone's best form. True. And in De Bruyne, mm -hmm. in the team, the yeah. last, the pre, the, 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 I think the last big game, yeah, where Liverpool came to town, or when Man City went to Liverpool, De Bruyne got substituted. Yeah. He wasn't happy with that. Yeah. And he, you see, the Man City player sees this game as a game where they will have to win to give themselves any chance mm. of winning the title. Mm -hmm. They know that both Arsenal and Liverpool will come to Old Trafford. Yeah. No matter how bad my United is at the moment, mm -hmm. when Arsenal come to town, United will show up. Mm. When, man, when, when Liverpool comes to town, United will show up. Arsenal, I think in close to about I've forgotten, but the statistics are there. I don't remember the last time they won again. I think in about 20 attempts, they won only one. At the Etihad? No, at, the, at Old Trafford. Mm, mm. So Man City knows, knows the difficult games. That is ahead of them. That is ahead of us, man. Mm. Look, Inketia, if I'm pushed to the wall, yeah. it's a Pep Guardiola game. I think Pep will win it. Pep wins this? Yes, I think yeah. he'll win it. I, I, I don't see Man City losing. I think hmm. he'll win it. Either, they are worth and, 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 and I really don't want I really don't want them to win it. So hmm. I'm hoping and praying <laughs> that Arsenal put up a surprise. Hmm. I'll be talking to my people from Guinness in a bit. But the big thing is that the Back to Your Village Food Festival is happening tomorrow at the forecourt of yeah. the AMA. Back to Your the Village walk a Sunday. Food Festival. That's it, Sunday love it. Oh, yes. yes walk 10 a.m. To 6 p.m. Now go day. Mm. No more. Me like this tomorrow. I'll pass there quick to pick some quick indigenous, you know, it's very one or two before I reach here. It's, it is very what, important. What, what food are you looking What What local food are you looking for to, to try for the first time? No, no, me, me, me personally, I don't. It's something that I've never eaten before, I don't worry to eat it. Ah. <laughs> oh, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Oh, oh, <laughs> On Sunday, God willing, mm. I, will, I, will, I, will, I will come with the family. I will bring the whole family. It is, it is, it is an yeah. opportunity to bring yeah. your family. Yeah. So, so Saturday, I mean, look, it's Easter. Come through mm. with the farm. 
come and meet your favorite personalities. Bernard Avler will be there. I will pass through Coach Nimli will, yeah, well. yeah. will be there. Yeah, Jay will be there. I'll be there with Gabi Milito, yeah. uh, Frema Edunyame. All Look, of us everybody will be, will be there. Richard Sky, <laughs> every, Nathan Kwa, everybody will be there. So of just course. come through, come and enjoy. So me, 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 you know, there are some things I like. Me, I like a preparer. Yeah. If I see, no, when, when I see that preparer like that, then the crab do like Chow Stiller for top. <laughs> oh, no. like or, or ball wings. What I say? Cut on it, ball wings. No, Charlie, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Hey, Charlie! Don't play with me, Charlie. I'm coming for it. Charlie, no, you can't think of it. I haven't eaten the Adal Jolof. The Adal Jolof. I'm coming for it. Charlie, 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 no, Charlie, Charlie. I'm coming for Charlie, it. You know, you, you know the crazy thing about the Back to the Village Food Festival? Sometimes like, when you get there, there's like so much food to look at. There's like so much to taste, so when much get to get there, to. You, you are confused. <laughs> like, you're, like, you're like, okay, wait, where do I go first? Do I go here first? You, you act like you're going to this stand. Like, this stand looks okay. Let me go. Charlie. Uh, as Sunday to after the church after service. Church. So, Enter with Christ the Christ has soul. Come, Christ come, has soul. come with the people. <laughs> Christ, Christ has soul. Has soul. Christ has soul. <laughs> so the the back to the village food festival there is heavy. It's heavy. It's it's our crowning moment for yeah. the heritage month. Yes, you know it's been a Ghana month of for course. us here at I City. So it's good. we are we are crowning it with proper Ghanaian cuisine. Exactly. You know there will be your eto. Like coach said, con, you know, no, no, con. 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 you know, no. <laughs> me, the family me, con, out, Charlie. <laughs> you know, there's there's TZ for the TZ lovers, Charlie, all kinds of things. Oh, I hope if you are a simple guy Kusia and all you like is Kusia 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 Kusia. we go set up for you. So, Charlie, come out there to the AME Four Court, the Back to the Village Food Festival. Um, it's from 10 a.m. Uh, to 6 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. So, lots to eat, lots to drink. Uh, I mean, a good place to network, a good place to um, see people you haven't seen in a really long time. So, it should be fun. I will be there. I hope to see you there. is happening and just like you heard us discuss big game weekend as far as the premier league is concerned our people from guinness are in the studio guinness have something really exciting going on for the easter epl weekend and i have my good friend here mr frank foley's in the building frank what's going on oh, we're doing good Nice. Yeah. Um, I see that for Easter, mm -hmm. you guys are um, giving the the fans something to look forward to. Yeah. What, what, what's the what's the whole thinking behind giving the fans, you know, Easter to enjoy with football? Yeah. So I mean, you know, it's Easter season. It's, it's a season of remembrance. A season of you know spending some good quality time with family, friends, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and then also it's also the football season, like you mentioned, right? And so for we at Guinness, our our purpose, mm -hmm. right? is to add a dash of magic to, you know, everyday experiences. I like that. A dash yeah. of magic. A, a dash of ah, magic. Actually. I understand. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're doing this weekend. Giving um, all our fans, all the listeners, the audience, you know, that unforgettable experience, you mm -hmm. know, that ultimate top tier match day viewing, right? Mm -hmm. That is what we are offering to all the fans out there listening. You, yeah. you said ultimate top tier yeah. match day viewing. I'm holding you to your own <laughs> words. That, exactly. that, that, that sounds very... Exquisite. Tell me I about mean, tell yeah. me about what the experience like. I mean, do you have like special screens? Is there like special surround sound? Do you feel as if you are the one scoring the goal? Like, what, what exactly is so, so special about like yeah, that setup? It's it's that whole end to end experience. You know, when you are sitting there, you are going to get all the you know, all the thrills. You know, the shouts, mm -hmm. everything that comes with you know that ultimate experience that you so deserve. Mm -hmm. That is what we are going to be providing for you mm -hmm. this weekend, right? 
at Seralio, right? Mm. So, so that's where it is. That's where it's happening this weekend. You know, there's going to be two days fully packed, fully loaded, supercharged, you know? Are, are you sure in all games, all games like on the on the day available or you have specific games? So we're doing all games, all the games. Mm. Yeah. So it's a viewing, it's you a, can pick and choose which one you want to So we are starting enjoy. from, you know, as early as 1 p.m. Okay. Right down to late, you know. Hmm. So all the games that are going to be, you know, played, hmm. you know, hmm. we are going to be showing it to all our fans out there. Is it yeah. free? Is it like a free thing? This is absolutely free. Like super free. You okay. don't have to pay anything. You mean super free? Super free. Just dress up and show up. Exactly. Mm. Right. Just show mm. up. That's what that's what we're saying. So show up this weekend and then let's have some fun. Let's give it that ultimate experience that you are looking for. The ultimate football experience. Yeah, Let me ask you. What, 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 what team do you support yourself? Put me on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you not so, happy to talk about your team? <laughs> if your team was doing well, you I, I I don't think you'd hesitate to tell me about your team. If you were a so, Man City fan, you'd be making noise right now. Okay, so yeah, I'm actually so, fan. I'm, no. I'm Why actually yeah. supporting, you know, uh, Man City. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you are supporting them on the day or you are a Man City fan? On the day. Oh, Charlie, let's not do on, this. On no, Sunday. No. You know, I'm just no, rooting no, for see, them. You see, you see, these are the things. These are the things. This is how you feel compression. <laughs> what team do you support? I support all winning teams. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I, see, I tell you that this guy is a Manchester United fan. The way the guy is concealing, no, the, no, the no. way you are concealing your identity, you are a Man United fan. I mean, Frank, just final words for um, anybody who wants to participate in this uh, big weekend that yeah. you have, um, the Guinness EPL uh, weekend, what do they need to know? Any information you want to put out there? Yeah, so like I mentioned, we are adding a dash of magic to your viewing experience, yeah. all right? So it's not just going to be that ordinary viewing experience you get in your local bars and all that, you know? Mm. So we are bring, bringing the big screens, you know, mm -hmm. the jama, mm -hmm. the good music, you know, mm -hmm. we have DJ Sleek coming. Mm -hmm. We have, like, all the fun that you want to you know, you wanna have this week. Grills and things. Everything is there. Mm. As well as your chilled bottle of Guinness, you understand? What I'm Always. Saying? Always. I mean, it's yeah. not complete without your chilled bottle so of how Guinness. Do you, how do you watch EPO without Guinness? Yeah, I mean, I know, how do you do that? I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. So, I, I mean, I know what you mean. I haven't said anything. Listen, I just said <laughs> I know what he means. You don't interpret it in your own way. So we'll, yeah. we'll be looking uh, forward to it. It's at Seralio. What, what, what time is it? Is it 1 p.m.? So we're starting from 1 p.m. From 1 p.m. Saturday so and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Two days. Super mm. charged. Yeah, super chat, super, super chat. So, Frank Foley from Guinness, Frank, yep. thank you very much for uh coming through the EPL um Guinness weekend. It's gonna be lit, that should be good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's finish off with some quick shout outs. Yeah, let's do some shouts before we go. It's Easter, Charlie. People have major shout outs to do. I'll read a few of your messages that have come through as well. I haven't read too many messages today. Coach, quick shout, quick shout. Okay, yeah. look, Charlie. Look, mine is a major birthday shout. Oh, major. Very major birthday major shout. Major birthday shout. Look, and, and it's coming from mm. a very good friend. To a very good friend. <laughs> you understand? You mean from a good friend to, to a, a good very friend. Good friend. Nice. And it's coming from Dr. Gerald Ose Wusu. Dr. Gerald Ose Wusu. Mm. To his beautiful wife. No more. To his extremely beautiful wife, mm -hmm. who happens to be my colleague at work, mm. Ghana Christian International High School. Mm. So he says, and I read, mm. it's a happy birthday to my love, to the love of my life, mm. my partner mm. in all of life's adventures. Hey, Charlie. The rock of my relationship and the heartbeat of our family. Mm. Here, Another year of love. Yeah, it's another year of love. Mm -hmm. Laughter mm -hmm. and unforgettable memories. May God bless you as he favors you before the heavens and on earth. Mm. Thank you, mm. my love, mm. for being my constant source of joy and especially support. Cheers mm. to many more beautiful birthdays 
together. Be calm and know God is orchestrating all incidents in your life. Yeah. I love you. You see, he has a nickname for his wife. Repeat that again. He said, I love you. Instead of saying Christiana, he said, Tineke. Oh, that is the way he refers to his beautiful. I love you, Tineke, from your Randy Love. Hey, Charlie. Girard, <laughs> Dr. Girard. I'm off, I'm off with your doctor. He says I should tell his wife, Mrs. Christiana Osewusu. Mm. Tineke. Chris, Doc says he loves you so much. So you need taste. Happy it's birthday. It's and it's from your beautiful son, Yao, the man I call mm. Babu. Babu says, Uncle, Mommy, happy birthday. Why you and she's now? assured me Why you now? that whatever dog wants on mm. her birthday is guaranteed. <laughs> whatever Dr. Gerard Osewusu wants on her birthday, she will guarantee him. Guarantee. Dog, 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 I know you will do the do. Dog, 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 dog. God bless you, dog. Go and matter. Dog, dog. Chris, say she's waiting for you. We love you, Chris. God bless you. And from myself, Coach Nimli, mm. your lovely friend, mm. Adwa Safwa, and Mrs. Bennis. Mm. We all say, God bless you. Big up, big up, big up. Yeah, quick shout, quick shout. Um, yeah, well. um, San, our brother, Sanya Siedu, was oh! uh, the interview um, from the States. No, nah, big uh, so up. big shout no, to Sandy. Sandy, Sandy be big guy, Charlie. Yeah, big shout to Sandy. Oh, Sandy, eh? when is it coming? What? No, nah, Sandy, Sandy's enjoying life. Okay. No, Honey Bula Boy. Nah, no, no, Vio. Sandy, you, you are listening. Hey, Honey, Honey, Honey Bula Boy. You wanted to come, but you know, Maybe. Maybe. people are turning, doing on and off, on and off. Oh, so it has scared you. So yeah, we shall see Sandy. Sandy, 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 Sandy. Oh. You see, uh, when the children come from school, they don't even have light to learn. Many problem now. Huh. I'll give me time to able to. Okay, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, big shouts to Sandy. I see you. Um, big shouts to, um, since we, we had the basketball folks yeah. here, um, big shouts to the, the entire basketball fraternity in Ghana, um, especially Mr. Emmanuel Kwe, a rubber man. He does a wonderful job. Oh, um, the legendary rubber man. Uh, rubber man, yeah, training the young youngsters in Tema um, every Saturday. Um, he sacrifices his time, his money, his resources to, to train the youngsters. Um, big shouts to him. Um, um, big, big, big shouts to all the, the the folks in the basketball fraternity. I mm. um, love you guys and uh, big greeting to uh, Mr. Oseo Usu of Farm Ghana Limited. Yeah, big man, I see you and I salute. Nice one there. So uh, that's it from us here. Um, oh we'll... yes, and, she, and, hey. and Coach Tijani Alexander Tijani. I, yes, he he does the forget. same for. For Tema. You yeah. forget Coach Tijani, like if you yeah, fight for you... Alexander Tijani, uh, <laughs> super coach, super coach, yeah. uh, fantastic coach. He, he does a lot of training um for uh, for the youngsters mm. in, in Tema. Mm. Um does it free. Um so if your your child is interested in basketball, yeah, I'll move to um, these guys, Rubberman, um coach uh, Alexander Tijani. They will um, sort your child out. Bless up to those on guys. On path to MBA. Yeah, bless up to those guys. <laughs> they are doing a wonderful job. Bless up to you out there tomorrow and Sunday. We hope to see you at the Back to the Village Food uh, Festival. It's a food festival because there will be performances. There will be experiences. It's not just come and eat. Like, things go happen. So there's the Unity Dance Ensemble. Uh, they will be there in their full glory. Uh, you will also encounter the Ejojinam Fafali Bobobo Band. So there's a lot to look forward to as far as the festival is concerned. Like I said, come um, join us as we crown um ghana month or the heritage month as we call it here um at city uh it will, it will, it will be fun ama4 court 10 a.m 6 p.m uh let's come out there enjoy good food celebrate ghanaian culture and heritage so that's it from us here my name is benjamin iketi you had yao jaminta and coach uh christopher namely we had some folks from guinness and also from the basketball federation um We'll be leaving you right about now with the Premier League preview show. You have the uh, show also live on YouTube and Spotify. So if you couldn't catch it, please do uh, catch up with the show. Show probably brought to us by Twisco. And Twisco is the new chocolate beverage there on the market. It's from the producers of Cowbell. And it's enriched with Enerfort, which is a combination of energy boosting minerals, including B vitamins, vitamin C, D, iron, and many more. 
<laughs> it's available in 20 grams and can be found at your nearest neighborhood store in a delightful red sachet for only one CD 80 pesos. To enjoy all the goodness packed in a sachet, empty contents into a mug mixed with 180 ml of previously boiled water, add milk and stir. That's your day with a cup of great tasting twist. Let me read this message here before I go. It says, Ben, after repeatedly making noise about Sports Panorama on my status every Friday, I have successfully convinced one amazing Lille to listen to Panorama tonight. Uh, shout outs to Jessica uh, Akofua Bruce. Uh, of the UBA Bank Kaswa branch. Uh, keep listening and I hope you fall in love with the show I'm like a, I have. I'm going to acknowledge Jessica. Jessica. Jessica Numadrobo. Yeah, Charlie. You are Lilelecious, Lilelecious. The endorsement the, has look, come. The Lilelecious is absolutely gangantu. Oh, Charlie. No, I don't think he added his name. Oh, Lile. Let me see if he added his name. Jessica, please make sure. Let me, so, yes, Numo Hornsby. Oh, Numo Hornsby. From Jessica. Katwa. I need Numo Hornsby, me, a share. Oh, Charlie. I need Numo Hornsby, me, a share. Oh, Jessica, you are double. Thank you very much. That's it from us here. We'll leave you with the Premier League preview show. <laughs>